everybody, John Palmer Miller here. I'm on the tube, chilling out to Rue Slip. So we're going to go to the crematorium to show you where Brian Connolly of Sweet was cremated. Now, Brian's ashes are not located in this crematorium, but there is a big plaque to say that he was cremated there. His ashes were scattered uh, somewhere else, you know. So, it's been coming up 25 years next year since Brian, like, passed away, and he was quite, you know, young. He was only, like, 52. And he's best made famous for fronting Sweet in the earlier days, you know, the glam rock band, Baller and Blitz. And you see, bands like Sweet, Slay, T-Rex, David Bowie, Yelton John, they all influenced the glam metal acts of the 1980s. Y y you have a good deep listen to the 80s metal bands, and they've got their influences from the 1970s. So, that's how you figure it out. I've just left the train station about a minute ago and I'm heading north up through Rice Slip. It's going to be a two mile walk from the train station to the crematorium. Hopefully it won't really take so long. Last time I tried going to the crematorium in October last year, the bus actually went out to Pinner. So instead of doing a vlog about Sweet, I did a vlog about Elton John. Hilarious though. So I've not been back in this area since September last year. And you know, like this part of London, it's really nice. You know, when you walk the streets, you don't feel like you're in London anymore because, well, I'm like 20 miles away from home. It's so weird. I don't really come out here that much, but um, a bit south is where my uh, cousin used to live before he moved to the Channel Islands. Yes. So I'll be checking up on his place later today. Well, that's a nice way to dress up a post box. Oh! Crematorium Harfields, that way. Yes. You see, how I found Brian Connolly's crematorium marker, it's very thanks to the man at Hollywood Graveyards. You see, he went to the United Kingdom to visit many famous graves, and one of them was Brian Connolly. Or maybe it was somebody else in the United Kingdom who filmed uh, Brian Connolly's marker at the crematorium. So special thanks to whoever did that. And um, I don't think anybody else has done a vlog like this, visiting Brian Connolly's marker. You know? Actually, actually, I shouldn't really say marker because it's not where his ashes or like cremated remains are buried, but basically it's more like a memorial plaque or a cenotaph. Yes, it's raining right now. I've got my umbrella. I'm very glad I bought my umbrella today. Here we are. Breakspear Crematorium. Let's go in through this gate. So I finally found it and I did apologize for calling him Donnelly because I mean Connolly Donnelly, typical Scottish Irish surname. So Brian Francis Connolly, born 5th of October 1945, died 9th of February 1997. Your music lives on, rest in peace, with love from sweet fans worldwide. So this has been up for a couple of years. And it's really nice that a few fans have like, came by to leave a few flowers. Um, I, I, I don't really know where his like, ashes were scattered, but I kind of believe maybe they were in Scotland or maybe somewhere else in England. Uh, I'll have to look, like, look that up when I get home. So it's quite like iconic for me to be here where Brian Connolly was cremated almost coming out 25 years ago. And would you believe that? Somebody has left a card from Germany, calling from a lady called Elizabeth, is her favourite singer of the 70s. It's very touching, you know. So I've completed my visit to visit Brian's grave of sweet. And even though his ashes are not there, I always believe that his spirit is flying up above our heads anywhere in the world, even at this exact location in Rosalind. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the city, another like two mile walk back here. I'm very grateful that that's it stopped raining right now because I had to walk up to the, the crematorium with this umbrella. And uh, I'm, I really need to like take a whiz. Well, pardon my like um, 
puns because uh, the toilets at the crematorium were locked, unfortunately. And uh, if it's locked, I guess I'll have to go somewhere else. Same as no pubs open right now until like next few weeks. Anyway, mind the mill head over and out.